in the book of John chapter 2. He said, For I have said that my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it the den of thieves. That was a corruption of what the original blueprint of God was as to the found as, as to the mountain of religion for the body of Christ. So corruption creeped into the church, and the corruption came with the symbol of what the, the mystery Babylon was in its mountain of religion. You see, the mystery Babylon in the mountain of religion is not carrying the face of a pope. Is not carrying the face of a pastor. The mystery Babylon in the mountain of religion carries the face of mammon, the face of money. And I will stop here to break this. The mystery Babylon, the symbol of the spirit of Babylon to the mountain of the church. Because the Bible says that this woman shall live, she will dwell, she dwells upon seven mountains. Hallelujah. Those seven mountains are the mountains that governs over the, the government of the earth. They govern over the three major confraternities that rule over the system of Babylon up, upon the face of the earth. But my focus is not on every other. My focus is on the religious mountain, the mountain of religion, which is to me the most fundamental mountain that rules over, it, it sponsors the affairs, it sponsors the organogram that governs over the systems and its platform of Babylon upon upon the face of the earth. Even in Nigeria, you now see, saints of God, that we are saying that religion has nothing to do with me. Religion has everything to do with politics. From the ancient time till now, don't tell me that. What controls the mind of people is their belief system. And whatever they subscribe to becomes their God. Is somebody catching me? And whatever they say, what rules over the life of men is their belief system. And whatever they believe is what rules the content of their will, the content of desire, the content of their submission and their allegiance. Take for example, a born again believer does not care who is filled of the Holy Ghost. Even though you give me money or not, I don't give a damn. If I go to the job, you tell me to bow down to a God, I will not bow down because this is my allegiance. Even though I need money to feed you, I would rather die than bow. What controls that belief system? Religion. Even though Christianity is not religion. So when you see these guys, they don't care. Even with the, with the fall of the economy of Nigeria, they don't care. Even they don't have food to eat, they don't care. As long as you give us a man from our sector, we are very much okay. What rules the composition of the mind? Of an average man is a religious spirit, whether you like it or not. This is one of the strongholds that governs even the political landscape of nations. Please get this today. Don't allow people to lie to you. Religion is one of the most, most fundamental strongholds contending against truth. And Jesus came to contend against that very spirit. They don't care. With the hardship in Nigeria, they don't care. These guys can't even eat two, two square meal in a day. They don't care. Nobody has risen up to protest against bad governance. They don't give a damn. As long as it's a man that we can identify that comes from our mountain, we are very much okay with it. Even in hunger. They have been kidnapping and killing them anyhow. They don't give a damn. Can you see the power of the, of the mountain of religion? It has an ability to tweak the desires of men. It can make it, 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 it has an ability to bring compositions of man's character, our code of conduct, how we relate to each other is being sponsored by a belief system. 